Hello, everybody. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be covering uh, the Booking.com uh, phishing scam, which I actually uh, recently was targeted by, and that's how I heard about this. But now the BBC has written a few articles on it, so I thought I would uh, make a video to warn about this and sort of explain how this works. Because at the core, it's actually the same scam as the fake sponsor stuff that we've been covering for the last few years. Uh, at some point, I did cover uh, where what they do is, let's just get into it. They pretend to have a media package or a PDF. And what the hotel one will do is they will send a file, here you go. So it's a, supposedly, this is a fake MP4. The hotel one will use a fake image. Uh, and of course, because you can, because you can set the, the executable file to have any thumbnail you want, it's not super obvious what this is going to do. So what they will do is they will send your hotel an email saying that they were staying at your hotel and that they left their passport in your room. And then they will go on to say that you can download a file just like the one I show in this video, uh, which is going to allow you to see the picture. Now, it's not actually an image file. As you can see from the SCR extension, which is usually used, uh, sometimes it'll just be an exe or a com file or uh there, there's those are the main ones you can also and the idea is that usually nothing will load sometimes they'll have a decoy and then under the hood a stealer and this one uh, apparently is using the vidar info stealer which i've actually shown in a few videos uh, that's one of the ones that uh, we've dealt with uh, and that one, in my experience, is usually not detected by antivirus. But instead of targeting YouTube cookies or crypto accounts, which they've been doing for years, what these guys will do is they will target Booking.com hotel accounts so that then they can get into the hotel and steal uh, your information. Now, what will happen next is you will get an email that looks like this. I actually have footage of it because I got it uh, from your hotel. And, and there is... Uh, Something that they, they point out in the BBC article is that it's a bit obvious because it's broken English. But that is only true if your hotel is booked in an English-speaking country, which mine was not, and a lot of people travel to countries where English is not the primary language. If you're booking a hotel in a non-English-speaking country, the fact that the English might be a bit off is not really a tell. So, they're, they're, so that's kind of a difficult thing. And this VIDAR malware is quite uh, potent, and I believe this one also uh, now has a multi-platform, so it's not just uh, it's not just um, for Windows, like a lot of uh, info stealers. Yeah, so this is the email they actually send, and then they'll send an email to the customers, like the one I showed, uh, where they will <laughs> pretend that uh, there's some sort of issue with your booking. And a lot of people, because you can book a hotel without paying for it. You you can do both. I'd actually already paid in advance, which is why I didn't fall for the scam. In addition to the fact that when I checked the link, it was already dead. But if you did uh, fall for the scam, uh, like if you didn't already pay for your hotel, you might think, okay, I've got to pay for my hotel. I'll just do that. I don't want to lose my booking and then you'll pay, and of course that just goes to the scammers. And you can see this is the same as the one I showed recently, where it actually uses Telegram and Steam to get the command and control IP address. And the reason they do this is because um, they don't want... Uh, if they have their own domain, you can get rid of that via an abuse report. Steam and Telegram have been pretty bad at taking these down. And they'll always have two, and one can point to the other, so there's sort of a redundancy. And if we look a bit closer, you can also see... Uh, another uh, absolutely critical uh, thing is this user agent, which is I found when I when I tried to hit uh, the botnet with fake data, is that you've got to copy and paste this exactly. It's not a common user agent. And that's how you get it to work. And of course, they're saying, yeah, it's not actually booking that have been hacked. It's uh, customers of booking, uh, but, it, but it causes a big problem. And then here, here is uh, how they'll try and get your money. And here's people buying uh, access. And here's some addresses that were used. Now, of course, these rotate frequently, but the Steam profiles might have somewhat of a longer life. So let's see if this profile's still up. 
Uh, it is. Uh, is that still... Does that IP address still exist? Let's find out. That's a normal uh, response. Go back to my video. Let's just let's just see. And now, of course, given I'm not using a VM, I'm not I'm not going to run anything because that would be insanely stupid. But colonhost.exe. I think the first because you can only download the the first payload is the one you can download uh, without a special user agent. It's not going to let me, not going to let me get it. Uh, command and control, but it's roughly the same. So if you want to see how this uh, info stealer actually works, I'm going to link uh, this video uh, in the cards that shows the exact details of how this info stealer actually works on low level. That's going to be all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.